What's going on, you two? As you can clearly see, we are back with another reaction video. Oh, 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 oh. And today, we got athletes who retired but were more successful after. By my boy Sunny V2. Make sure to go subscribe to him. He posted this a day ago. And, um, yeah. Without that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the video. You did. Sporting careers had officially ended, but these 10 athletes were just getting started. And none were as strange as George Foreman's transition from boxing to kitchen appliances. Mm. He retired at the age of 48 with minimal future prospect. God damn, 48? Why you wait that long to quit boxing? <clears throat> My bad, y'all. I just woke up, like, not too long ago, so. <clears throat> but yeah, why you, why you take that long? Damn. Yet it thankfully claimed his success was due to his healthy eating. Because at the same time, a company called Sultan was developing a special type of grill that would drain the excess fat out of anything it was cooking. George Foreman let the company use his name in exchange for 40% of profits, believing this was his fate by tweeting, While I was KO'd, I saw a giant piece of meat screaming grill me. When I woke, I said gotta find a grill, thus the George Foreman grill. The the product, however, was a total failure until he also began hosting their infomercials. George Foreman explained that at the height of the grill's success, there were months I was being paid eight million, yet he'd eventually sell his share in the product for a one-time payment of 137 million. The product became so popular one person posted, today I learned that George Foreman is not just a brand of grill. It's actually the name of a real man who was once a boxer, while the name Jason Statham belongs to a man who was once a diver he made it to the he was once a diver when i kn i ain't know that hey you learn something new every day ain't that something mm -mm -mm. Learn something new every 1990 day. commonwealth games where the judges continually highlighted that he wasn't doing well jason statham is not having a good time he's moved from eighth slipped down to 11th despite placing 11th he'd explained that diving teaches you discipline focus and certainly keeps you out of trouble which are principles he'd also apply as an action movie star statham performs his own stunts in every single movie applying his swimming ability in productions like the meg and Expendables 3 where diving actually saved his life. Whilst filming a truck scene beside a dock, the brakes on the truck failed plunging him into the sea. 60 feet at the bottom of the Black Sea, stuck in the mud. How am I going to get out of this? This is how it ends. Yet Jason was able to free himself and swim 20 metres back to the surface. Terry Crews, who we'll talk about later, said, He was a professional diver. That was his thing, man. If it would have been me, I don't know if it would have ended that way. Statham further added, I think what I did didn't achieve in sports has probably helped me focus more and take my acting career more seriously while Arnold Schwarzenegger was only able to act because of his sporting achievements. In the very same year as Arnold's first Olympia win, he was given the lead role as Hercules in New York, being cast for his appearance which resembled the Greek hero. After his seventh Olympia win, Arnold was cast as Conan the Barbarian, the Terminator and Dutch from Predator, each being influenced by his bodybuilding background. Look at the muscles, boy. God damn, boy. Look at that bait. Look at that muscle right there. Jesus Christ, boy. <clears throat> Let me stop playing, but Arnold, he was one of them. He was one of them when it came, when it came to acting. No cap. I don't care what y'all say. He was one of them when it came to acting. No gizzy. In the process, Arnold appeared on talk shows giving bodybuilding tips, also being elected governor for eight whole years. More recently, however, Forbes announced that Arnold had officially become a billionaire, yet Magic Johnson already achieved this many years beforehand. He was the yeah, NBA's yeah. most valuable person during three separate seasons, while ESPN called him the fifth best player ever. But despite the Red Hot Chili Peppers writing a song about him, Johnson's career earnings were, according to Forbes, 
only 40 million, yet he spent it extremely wisely. Magic Johnson began investing in sports teams, pulling money to buy the LA Dodgers for which he was heavily criticized. We went in and bought the Dodgers for $2 billion and everybody said, they're the stupidest businessmen on the face of the earth. Until it quadrupled in value. At $8 billion, they said, oh, they're the smartest guys. He'd therefore also invest in the Los Angeles Sparks, the Los Angeles Football Club, and the Washington Commanders, all while leading operations for the Los Angeles Lakers. He then launched his own talk show, his own film studio, and even his own record label, before also buying a movie theater, the tallest building in Brooklyn, and 125 Starbucks locations. However, there was one investment that was stranger than any other. In 2015, in 2015, Magic Johnson bought 60% of the Equitrust insurance company before almost doubling their assets from 16 billion to 26 billion. If you told Prime Magic Johnson he'd one day work in insurance, he probably would have laughed. Yet Ion Tyriac's corporate change was somehow even bolder. You've likely never heard of him, but you'll never forget the mustache. Ion Tyriac was a pro tennis player from Romania who won the French Open during his peak in 1970. He retired. 10 years later but had such a unique look, he was given a role in many different ads. Then he casually decided to open his own bank. It was the first in his country after communist Romania ended, with its profits funding other ventures in real estate, auto leasing and air travel, although his coolest business is easily- Hey man, this, this, this should tell you right here, is that hey, when, whenever you get big boats of money, make sure to start investing into yourself, bro. You see how these people doing it? Wait till I get some good money on it. Investment is the only thing I will be doing. Whether it's investing and being able to get around as much, get get more money, network myself, brother's going that bag gonna triple on me. Car Museum. He owns over 300 different incredibly unique cars, including two Rolls Royce Phantom 4s, of which only 18 were made and are valued at $3 million each. The rest of his collection features everything from Fords to Ferraris, and they're all on display at the Tyriac Auto Gallery. Despite earning just £200,000 during his professional tennis days, he became Romania's richest man with a worth of $1.7 billion, but he's not nearly as famous as President. Center Michael Strahan. NFL yeah. players retire after 3.3 years on average, yet Strahan played from 1993 to 2007, spending 15 years with the New York Giants and retiring after a year that his team had won the Super Bowl. But while this made him perfect for a career in sporting commentary, he approached it through a slightly different medium. Strahan became a talk show co-host on Live with Kelly and Michael, which increased its ratings so ferociously, it began beating its competition by 87%. He was then offered a position on Good Morning America where he also performed exceptionally, winning two daytime Emmys for Outstanding Talk Show Host. More recently, Strain was given a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame, represented by a whole new category for sports entertainers, making his star the first to feature a trophy symbol. Michael certainly deserves his 17 million a year. Well, 17 million a year? These niggas making guap. Look at these niggas making guap. Jesus. While Vinnie Jones is also perfect for every role he plays. You might recognize Vinnie as the coach in She's the Man, being given the role as a former professional soccer player. He played 180... Mm. Games of Premier League football, where he built a reputation as a super aggressive person. Vinny had once casually threatened to rip off and spit in the hole another player's ear, broken the record for the world's fastest yellow card, and of his 184 matches, 12 had ended in red cards. His own club's chairman labelled him Mosquito Brain, yet Vinny's tough attitude paid off unexpectedly. In 1998, he was cast as a criminal in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, although his casting might have been too perfect, as on the day he was supposed to start shooting, he had to attend a court hearing for assaulting his neighbor over an argument about a garden fence. He was sentenced to 100 hours of community service. Vinny was then also given 80 hours community service after admitting assault and using threatening words or behavior towards members of an air crew. As passengers and crew tried to restrain him, Jones declared, I can get you murdered. I can get the whole crew murdered for three 
3,000 pounds. But these hiccups only helped his career as he began to play tough guys in every single movie. For example, the X-Men's Juggernaut. He's since acted in over 100 films, but it feels like Shaq appeared in even more commercials. After retiring as the 10th best player ever, Shaq... That nigga Shaq's still appearing in ad. What you mean? And then, then, these people, these people making money on it. I'm trying to get to where they at. Respect. Making rap music, releasing five studio albums, one of which featuring Michael Jackson. Under the name DJ Diesel, Shaq began performing live at festivals as big as EDC Las Vegas. On top of music, Shaq appeared on WWE in shows like Curb Your Enthusiasm and so many different commercials IMDb can't even count them all. However, most of his earnings have come from savvy business moves. Shaq owned 155 Five Guys restaurants, representing 10% of all locations, as well as 150 car washes, 40 gyms, and 17 anti and restaurants. He's built a net worth of half a billion dollars, although there's something a whole lot cooler about the success of Terry Crews. He was drafted to the NFL in 1991, playing six games for the Rams, 10 games for the Chargers, and 16 games for the Redskins, although he'd explained that he wasn't very good. I was always on the end of the roster. I was never a big superstar. I was an 11th round draft pick, partially because he didn't even enjoy it. It took me years to figure out I never really liked football. <laughs> wow. Terry made it obvious that he instead preferred the arts. I would go back into the locker room and ask the players if they wanted their portraits painted. You did these while you were That's playing? Right. While I was playing, I was known as the the artist uh, football player. Retiring from the NFL to take his talent to Hollywood. His family thought he was crazy. There was family members that were like, he had a chance. He blew it. Right. You know, that was, the, that was the consensus. Although whilst working security on the set of Training Day, Terry was given an unexpected chance. Well, the director walks over to me and he says, hey man, you want to be in this movie? I said, yeah, I was like, sir, whatever you need me to do. This turned into another movie, then another. But it was after appearing in White Chicks that his life would totally change. The producer of the movie called me. He said, Terry, your life will never, ever be the same. Terry was offered to appear in the Old Spice commercials, which went on for more than 10 whole years, calling it his revenge on the NFL. They played it all over the NFL. That was yeah. that was another thing that was kind of like my revenge on the league, because I, you couldn't watch a game without seeing it's some crazy Spice. Terry. Cruz, Old Man, Spice commercial. Although in terms of success after sporting retirement, there's nobody MJ! close to Michael Jordan. Considered the greatest NBA player ever, Jordan was approached by Nike to create his own special shoe, hoping to make $3 million over a three-year period. Instead, it earned $126 million by the end of the first 12 months. The shoes have since made him roughly $1.5 billion, which he used to buy a share in the Charlotte Hornets, spending $275 75 million in 2010 before reselling it in 2023 for a whopping three billion dollars. As a result, Michael Jordan is the richest athlete ever with a net. Uh, I don't even want to know the network. I don't even want to know the network. I just know he making guap. He making that cheese, that cheddar. Boy, is not playing with y'all. No, no, no. He is not playing. But um, yeah. Hey, hey. This, this just goes to show you can chase your dreams while also being smart with the money you make from your dreams. Because I'm going to tell you right now, like I said, I'm investing to myself once I get all types of good funds. No cap. But anyway, shout out to Sunny V2. Yes, yes sir. That's in the video. Let's go ahead and see. Arnold had had the dream life. Mm. Yeah, he did. Shaq doesn't look down on people because they're lesser. Looks down on people on because he literally has no other choice. You're fucking stupid. Rose out of stop hating. Man, man. George Foreman's Grill is a classic. I still those commercials back in two thousand. I I don't really remember them. But anyways, it's your boy OGT man signing out. Yeah, dude.